Evaluating Gen AI Output Generative artificial intelligence is an emerging technology that is changing the ways people access, process, and create information. As students, we evaluate every source we use in our assignments. Information generated by AI tools such as ChatGPT should also be evaluated. While verifying accuracy takes time, it's an important step to make sure our work is done ethically. In this video, you will learn why it's important to evaluate Gen AI output and how to evaluate the content generated by these tools. Meet Ash, a first year arts undergraduate student who has just started using ChatGPT, an AI tool, for school. Ash is completing a project related to climate change and they are excited to use ChatGPT for the project. ChatGPT is an exciting tool because it can potentially save users a lot of time and effort. By inputting a simple prompt, users can get an elaborate response within seconds. Because it's fast and easy, Ash is tempted to use the information generated by ChatGPT without thinking any more about it. But here are four reasons why Ash should think more deeply about AI content. First, AI tools are prone to hallucinate content. Hallucinations are content that may be made up or inaccurate. Second, AI tools may generate content that contains bias instead of a balanced or nuanced point of view. Third, content generated by AI tools may be irrelevant, especially if the tool misunderstands the prompt. Lastly, AI content may be outdated instead of current. For example, as of March 2024, the free version of ChatGPT is modeled on content only up to 2021 to 2022. Ash is now going to decide to learn how to evaluate information from Gen AI. Ash can use the SIFT acronym to remember how to evaluate information from AI. Stop to think about the information critically. Investigate who created the information. Find other coverage to corroborate the claim. Trace claims, quotes, and media to their original context. You can use SIFT2 the next time you use a generative AI tool. Let's look more closely at how to apply each step. When an AI tool generates text, Ash knows to pause and evaluate its reliability. Ash starts by identifying claims that the AI has made. In this example, it says that climate change significantly impacts ice and sea levels through a variety of processes. Now, Ash takes keywords such as ice and sea levels to search the library for a reliable academic article that backs up what the AI claimed. This is called corroborating claims. If multiple sources agree, it is likely that the AI has provided correct information. Ash found this scholarly article that makes the same claim. So far, so good. Usually, when a source provides a complete citation, that can indicate that it is reliable. Here, ChatGPT has provided Ash with a citation for its claims. But Ash knows that Gen AI tools may provide fake citations. These are called hallucinations. They need to look more closely at the citation to determine if it is legitimate. Ash decides to use the UBC Library webpage to search for the article title. They need to look for the article in other places to see if it exists. And even if the cited article exists, Ash needs to investigate whether that source actually makes the claims ChatGPT says it does. Unfortunately, it looks like they can't find it. One more try. Ash goes to Google to search for the name of the author. They still can't find any record of this person. Now, Ash is pretty sure this citation is a hallucination. But if Ash was still in doubt, they could also ask a librarian to check if the AI-generated citation is real. Now, as part of the project, Ash also wants to find some real images to show the impact of climate change. But Gen AI can also generate images. If they encounter a photo like this, how can they tell if it's AI generated? First, 
Ash can look for unusual features of the image. AI images will often appear uncanny or slightly illogical in how they present visual elements. Second, just like evaluating text, Ash can check the source, title, description, and comments related to the image to cross-reference it. They can also check watermarks if there is one on the image. Watermarks are small designs placed over the image that indicate the source or creator, like a signature. Finally, Ash can make use of reverse image search tools and AI image detectors online. These tools can tell you if an image is AI generated, but they are not 100% accurate. Next time you use GenAI tools in your assignment like Ash, remember to critically evaluate the output, as the generated content may be irrelevant, outdated, biased, or even a hallucination. Remember to check with your course instructor about the use of Gen AI tools in your assignments. As students, it is our responsibility to adhere to instructor's policies. Also, remember to properly cite any information you use from AI. Even though an AI generated it, it still needs to be cited like any other content you reference. We hope that you have learned some handy skills to evaluate text and images from Gen AI.